Hey, very bad shit. Is the 17th of April, 2019. And this is another very interesting little set of circumstances here. I, I saw this article this morning all over the headlines about this young lady who went cross country from Florida to Colorado, apparently tweeting along the way, uh, just freaking out. Very troubled young lady, obviously. It's very sad, uh, in my humble opinion, very demonically possessed. Nothing else explains this, okay? But regardless, I digress. The, the, the armed teenager whose threats forced the closure of 19 school districts in Colorado, think about it, was found dead by an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. The body of Sol Payas. 18, she's 6 plus 6 plus 6 years old, uh, an 18 year old from Florida, was infatuated with Columbine, where 13 were killed. Sol Payas, that's what caught my attention. Sol is obviously, that's sun. Sun personified the sun god. Okay, identified with the Greek god Helios. Okay, keep that in mind because today the Greek Acropolis was struck by lightning injuring four people that was today but again i digress her name is the sun god paeus which is a biblical word also greek uh, you can find it 24 times in the bible but in matthew 12 18 it's describing behold my servant whom i've chosen my beloved in whom my soul is well pleased we know who that's speaking of. The, the word is servant. Okay? Especially a minister to a king by eminence to God, a slave or servant. So her name literally means a servant to the sun god. Helios, if you want to call it. The Greek sun god. Now, what what company made the, the uh, cartoon I Pet Goat? Heliophant. Right? And I, we've already looked at the crown of thorns disappearing as the cathedral crumbles. But if we go a little further, we see our, our hero here sailing into this rising sun, the sun of the morning. Both of these represent basically the same entity. Also can be referred to as Helios, the sun of the morning, uh, Lucifer, okay? And we see these three pyramids here, right? Now just check this out. Because of this girl doing all this and leading me back to the, the iPad again, it caused me to look at the cathedral again a little bit. And, and the reason why is because I saw yesterday, let me find it. I saw yesterday where they had moved all the, the relics, including the crown of thorns, over to the Louvre Museum. And the Louvre Museum is like totally famous for its pyramid. That's what it's famous for. So the Crown of Thorns went to the pyramid. And the very next scene after the Crown of Thorns disappears are the pyramids. And if you watch, it starts firing out these fireballs and it fires this one at the pyramid, knocking off the capstone. And then everything else crumbles. All three of them crumble. And if you were to go to the Louvre, okay, this is very interesting. Okay, uh, that was an, a recent art exhibition they did there. But if you go to the Louvre, that pyramid above ground is also inverted below ground. Okay, you got to think about this stuff, along with a small pyramid at the very bottom. Okay, much like how this artist depicted this, this is all artwork here that you can only view from a specific angle. And this was done just a few weeks ago. I'll, uh, I'll link the article. This was an artwork. Okay, normally you don't see this. Normally you would see just the whole facade here, the whole you know, thing. It's the Louvre. And sure enough, it hits this pyramid. I just found that to be really strange. Especially if you go to Paris. I mean, it's just 
off the charts satanic, this whole city, but especially where the Louvre is. The cathedral's over here, right, on this island. The Louvre is right across the river, right here. And this is the location where all the kings, Marie Antoinette and Napoleon and all those, you know, they ran the show from this area. And that pyramid is right here. And the real crazy thing is, is if you go down this major thoroughfare here, you know, the, the Champion Parkway, whatever it's called, and it brings you to the giant arch where Trump and all the dignitaries met back on November 11th of last year. That big giant arch is right in the middle here in this big spider looking thing. Okay, but back more towards the Louvre here, they have an obelisk right there as well. And it's literally from the Luxor in Egypt. It, it, it's a, a literal thing in Paris that lines up perfectly with this pyramid that's back here. This is crazy. Pyramids here. The obelisk is right there. And then you go down to this crazy mad arch. Okay. And then down the very end of this is where it's really insane. Okay. There's these buildings down here that are just like so bizarre where this whole thoroughfare ends. And this is at is what's at the end of it. Look at that thing. It's a giant portal or doorway, a, a cube, if you will. That is nuts. And that's down the very end of this whole craziness. I mean, this town is just ready for total spiritual warfare, man. This is steeped in satanic everything. The whole city. Just like New York, Washington, D.C., all of them. It's just crazy. And so, yeah, this all stems from this soul pious, the servant of the sun god, Helios, Heliophant. They moved the artworks to the pyramid, okay? I mean, this is nuts to me, really. The more this stuff piles up, the more I'm just like, what is going on here? Notre Dame, I mean, you got to admit, this is pretty wild stuff, you guys. You got to admit. But the fact that the the crown of thorns is now in the pyramid essentially that has a smaller inverted pyramid beneath it and then a small pyramid at the very bottom i showed you that okay i'll show you again because this stuff is just crazy seriously right there it, it depicts it all right there the all the three pyramids are in one spot and if you watch this one explosion destroys all three pyramids none of the other ones get hit but they all crumble just the same like as if they were under this big one so i'm kind of thinking like wow is something going to happen in paris that's my thought you know it's just my humble opinion and i like to give my opinion especially when it's lead so there's that and uh I'll link all kinds of stuff for you to check out. It's just so bizarre. This world is just so slipping into darkness so quickly. I pray you know Jesus Christ. I truly do. Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 